I'm burning it all down. Everything I have. Because when you go cheap, you go cheap really, really badly. And I'm going to show you some really bad mistakes that I've made in Boss Diplomat. And I hope as solopreneurs, you don't make the same mistake that I have made over the last few months. What's up, bosses? I'm Talin Raman Figueroa, your personal brand consultant, making you look so good. You can't be ignored. That's the promise that I make to my clients. Yet, I made such fatal errors in the last few months with Boss Diplomat's very own marketing. I now have to burn all of that down and start from scratch. Let me explain. For the last six months, I built a really, really robust marketing strategy. I decided to start on my video content on YouTube and then repurpose my YouTube videos into reels, into blog posts, into podcasts. Here's the mistake that I made. I hired freelancers who promised that they can grow my social media and my YouTube channel in record time. I bit that promise. I bit it like a freaking sucker because yes they delivered what they promised my instagram blew up my youtube blew up i was having so many views on my videos and my content i was like oh my god this is really really happening for me now i'm getting popular through my content through all of the hard work that i'm putting into my marketing strategy however they were not real guys these were fake followers my social media was inundated with a lot of fake accounts that was actually causing more harm and ruining my brand in the process in record time. I made the classic mistake of going cheap on my freelancers because I needed a team of people to help me build and implement the structure that I put together for my own business. I was burning the algorithm bridges. YouTube no longer trusted me. Instagram no longer trusted me. In fact, by using companies like Trucy and Plexi in the past, even though they gave me some amazing growth in a short period of time where I had a lot of followers, I had a lot of views on my reels. I had a lot of views. I had zero engagement, guys. Now I have to very painstakingly remove these fake followers and all of a sudden you're going to see this massive drop on followers on my Instagram because half of them weren't real anyway. So all of the work that my team and I are putting into real social media engagement, following real people and commenting legitimate things on these people's profiles is going to take twice as long now for my Instagram to grow and any of my content to actually do the heavy lifting when it comes to booking leads because I went cheap. I hired a YouTube growth strategist who promised to use white hat techniques to grow my YouTube channel, no fake accounts, no fake followers, and really sticking by a YouTube rule book so that I can start getting better followers into my YouTube channel. In two weeks, I was having similar results. You know, all of a sudden from only having 25 views on my videos, I was getting three, 400. And this is only for two videos that I gave them a trial run on. So when I went into the analytics and checked out where this audience was coming from, the majority of this audience was coming from India. My my clients are based in the United States. If they were real, the majority of my followers and viewership will be coming from the country that I'm actually currently residing in. And guess what? When I called them out on it, I heard tickets. Three weeks later, I got a massive WhatsApp chat to say, hey, they weren't feeling well, they were sick. Sorry for the silence. I'm about communication. But that line of communication and that trust was broken when you did not respond to my concerns. Who got hurt by this? I did. I got hurt by this entire process, even though I trusted them based on the evidence that they gave me that they were not using black hat tricks to get viewership on my YouTube channel. So... I am deleting my old channel. It's gone. The original Boss Diplomat YouTube channel is gone and I am freaking starting from scratch. This was a really, really hard decision for me to make because going from 12,000 followers to zero is like, oh, oh, that really, really hurts because that was like years and years of work. And this is where a lot of solopreneurs get very frustrated. It's so easy to always expect that highlight reel to always expect the end result to happen tomorrow. But guess what? That 1% everyday process is the rule. You have to keep consistent. And this is a huge part of the message that I always share with my clients. It's to be consistent in your brand and do something for your business and for your brand every single day, bit by bit. And this 
is how you grow a legitimate brand. This is how you grow and evolve as a solopreneur, as a business owner, and someone who has actually invested very carefully in their personal brand. And if anyone tells you that they are going to get you a lot of results in a very short amount of time, guys, red flags, don't listen to them. And I hate to break this to you, but your brand may not pick up in the next two years. It may take six years, it may take 10 years, but you've got to stick at it. And this is why I always ensure that my clients have lead products that will then translate into full price services they are offering to their clients that brings in money and cash into the business right now so that you don't actually have to wait 10 years from now to get to your big audacious goals. If you want me to review your social media and your website so that you can legitimately grow your business in the right way, hey, why don't you have a free mini brand session with me, Tarleen, put some Tarleen time on your calendar. And I would love to see how I can help with your business brand and show you the brand opportunities that are staring you in the face, but you just don't know it. I'll show you everything.